I just got done watching Jaden Daniels' worst game, and I use that term lightly. It was the first game of the season against Florida State in a game they lost, and it doesn't surprise me that his worst game came in week one because no offense has their stuff together in the first game of the season, let's be honest. So and you also have to keep in mind, Jaden Daniels' worst game is a lot of guys' the best game, but statistically speaking, at least, he had his lowest QBR, lowest completion percentage, and he only threw one touchdown, which he didn't do again for the rest of the year. So that being said, let's watch Jaden Daniels' worst game of the year. All right, first play I want to take a look at here, LSU down here at the goal line. Tight man-to-man -man coverage from Florida State, obviously. LSU looking for this dragon concept, this um, slant flat, the backside kind of, you know, running the, the edge of the end zone there. And down here, the slant flat, that's covered. But that's where Jaden Daniels wants to go. But he gets off of it when he sees it's covered. Florida State is going to do a really nice job, actually, kind of just covering this thing and passing off those receivers. So you can see him looking this way. What does he do when that's covered? He looks backside, right? Nice job. Only other receiver in the route. It's only a three-man route. So, again, he really didn't have anybody else to look to. But I like that he gives his receiver an opportunity to make a play on this ball despite him also being plastered in coverage. So he kind of throws this thing like back shoulder-ish, right? Like kind of back shoulder there along the, um, you know, the edge of the end zone. Gives his guy a chance to make a play on the ball. Now, this was um, ruled incomplete for being out of bounds, I would assume. But, again, I like the – the way that Jaden Daniels at least gives his guy a chance to make a play on the ball where only he would have a chance at it there with that kind of back shoulder-ish throw. And here it is from the end zone view. You can kind of see it a little better. I mean, this thing is inches away um, from being a touchdown. All right, next play here, Jaden Daniels. You know, I like to see him hang in the pocket here a little longer and hit this deep dig to this receiver right here um, because he does come open but I think he just kind of gets off the read a little too early it looks like he might be looking for the tight end and the seam there um, he does end up going with this check down down here at the bottom of the screen to the running back I believe it is when he sees that this seam is empty but you'll see what I mean okay so he's looking he's looking just a little too impatient there over the middle because again this receiver over the middle does come open so we need to throw that that's an explosive play um, but again, he's looking for the tight end up the seam. It's not there. It comes to his check down. Not a big deal, right? But obviously, we do have to make the throw. You know, if we're going to offer the check down, that is also wide open, which is why it makes it even more okay in this um, scenario. We got to make the throw. You know what I mean? So a little bit inaccuracy issues early on in this game. Not a big deal. So again, from the end zone view, we can kind of see this receiver come open over the middle if, if Jaden Daniels was able to hang on to that read a little longer. But again, throws a check down, no big deal. Just got to hit the throw. Next play here, nothing too crazy. I just like the far hash throw towards the sidelines with accuracy. Shows off a little bit of the arm strength, right? Jaden Daniels, definitely not the biggest guy in the world, but arm strength is something that is definitely not an issue with this guy. He can make every throw in the book. I mean, again, this is, you know, far hash, Towards the sideline, accurate with zip on it. Nice. Next play, this is has honestly nothing to do with his, um, you know, at least passing ability. But Jaden Daniels takes some of the hardest hits I ever see a quarterback take. And he does it on a weekly basis. I'm just, you know, I was watching this tape and I noticed this play. And it's just like, good God, dude. Like, look at this. Jesus. And I mean, this guy, it seems like this happens to him at least once a week. So it's definitely something that he's going to have to tamper down. Uh, when he gets to the NFL, where at guys are just, you know, that much bigger and that much stronger. Next play here, I just spoke on, you know, him running the ball. Little quarterback draw action. And watch this acceleration right here. Right there. I mean, boom. Splits the defenders. Boop. Makes that guy miss. I mean, as a runner, obviously, he's a special athlete, right? Like, I don't think anybody denies that whatsoever. But, again, as I showed you in his last clip, it's definitely something he's going to have to work on you know, as far as not taking these big hits. But here, obviously, shows off the elusiveness, the speed, the acceleration, everything you want to see in a, in a dynamic quarterback like Jaden Daniels. Even better view over here, watch this defender break his ankles. Slow-mo acceleration. Check it out. Boop. <laughs> wow. I know they had fun in the film room the next day. All right, next play here, they're going to run this sort of little flood concept down here to the bottom of the screen. Doesn't like anything front side. Everything is pretty much covered, but I like how he goes back to this little kind of backside whip route, if you will, uh, and is able to hit his receiver. Now his receiver drops the ball. 
Um, but again, I like him to be able to process this concept, see that nothing is open. Okay. So let's check the front side of this thing. Nothing open, covered, 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 covered. Only option, go backside, hit your receiver in the hands, and you know, you can't catch the ball for the guy. So let's take a look at it from this view, kind of see this a little bit better. Put this thing in slow mo, nothing open, go backside, boom, let it go, hit your receiver right in the hands, and it's dropped. All right, next play here, uh, Jaden Daniels, again, showing off the arm strength, anticipation, and, you know, poise in the pocket. FSU is going to bring kind of a delayed blitz. They're going to end up bringing six guys total, but most notably, this deep safety is going to be coming from depth. And, you know, Jaden Daniels able to sit here in this pocket, deliver this ball with this guy bearing down on him across the field, right? Again, from the far hash, arm strength, and he releases, releases this thing right now. The ball is out. Receiver is just now starting to get into his break ball placement outside shoulder behind him which is perfect right away from the defender and again from this view right safety comes from depth they drop it in there number 11 no problem show the poise sit in there deliver this ball perfect placement accuracy arm strength whatever you want to call it everything on this play nice job all right next play here this is kind of another example of you know i want Jaden daniels to hang in this pocket i know it's collapsing but if we hang in this pocket again, we can hit this slot receiver over the middle on the in route, on the deep end. Okay, we got two fades on the outside of the screen, two go routes, whatever you want to call it. But again, if we can hang in this pocket, we can hit this thing over the middle. And I know we're rushing a bunch of guys, but we have the protection. Okay, everybody's accounted for. Let's hang in this thing. Deliver this thing right now to your receiver who is breaking over the middle. Throw this thing with a little bit of anticipation. Instead of, you know, kind of panicking right here, as you can see, he's doing in the pocket and looks to take off and, you know, eventually gets sacked behind the line of scrimmage. So, again, I understand the pocket is collapsing here, right? You see that guy coming, kind of just panic a little bit, but, you know, we got to make this throw over the middle. Um, those are the types of throws that you just kind of have to make in the NFL if you want to be successful on a consistent basis. Again, from the end zone view, you can see everybody's accounted for in the pocket. Actually, it's a really awesome protection, right? FSU rushing one, two, three, four, five. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six in the protection. So, again, hang in there, right? Let's not, you know, drop our eyes too quickly. We can work this pocket a little bit. We got we got room over here to work this thing. Let's hit this guy coming open over the middle. All right, next play here, and this is kind of an insane throw, right? FSU looks like they're probably in some type of quarters coverage. Guy up top, you know, runs vertical with him. But, you know, he can you can kind of see this defender up here, you know, kind of lean into this, this seam. And I don't know if that's what LSU is trying to get him to do, but this throw is actually kind of nuts. Again, we're at the we're on the far hash at the opposite 40 yard line, and we throw this thing to, you know, their what? 15 yard line from the far hash like this is an insanely i don't know the the math on the air yards on this one but um this is a crazy throw probably shouldn't have been thrown because again this defender is in a nice you know position to make a play on the ball but he kind of drops it in the bucket i mean you'll see a little bit better on this next um angle here again I mean, right there in the bucket I think this receiver, you know, obviously felt this safety or cornerback, you know, about to pop him, but the ball is in the in the bucket. Again, Jane Daniels does his job on an insane throw. All right, next play here. This is going to be on Jaden Daniels' interception. He had an interception in this game, and at this point in the game, LSU, it's the fourth quarter. Quarter, they're down 17 to 24, and he's just going to look up top to this receiver at the top of the screen. He's just trying to run this kind of like, you know, comeback route, I guess, but the receiver falls down, right? Really good coverage. Receiver falls down, probably pass interference, if you ask me, right? A little too physical there um, from the DB, but it's not called. Receiver falls or gets thrown down. It's picked off, and, you know, it's returned. Again, from the end zone view. Kind of see this is just like a little three-step drop, let the ball go. Receiver fell down and just kind of gave no effort once he did fall down. All right, next play, 17 to 38 at this point. The game's pretty much over. I like this play, though. I like the touch he's put he puts on this ball to get this thing over this uh, linebacker, I believe it is right there, safety, whatever he is, number 15 right here. But again, I like the touch from Jane Daniels. The game's over, whatever, but we're still fighting, right? Got this little shallow cross, crosser route, whatever. 
I mean, again, just nice touch. Layer that thing over that defender. Receiver gets a good amount of yards. But again, at this point, it's kind of just, you know, garbage stats. Again, show this thing from this view. Pop that thing over the head. Nothing special, but, you know, whatever. Next play here, this game is 17 to 45 at this point. Again, garbage stats. FSU playing some kind of funky, like, inverted Tampa 2, it looks like. But check out this throw from Jaden Daniels. I mean, between two defenders squeezing this thing, once again, from the far hash, okay? From the far hash, dropping this thing in the bucket between two defenders. Another ball that probably should not have been thrown, but again, Jaden Daniels absolutely has the arm talent to make this these ridiculous types of throws, and this receiver actually ends up taking this thing for a touchdown, and that's Jaden Daniels' only touchdown pass of this game, believe it or not, and it came in garbage time. So, you know, again, Jane Daniels for his worst game, they didn't play bad at all per se. Like I said, it's it's week one. No offense has their stuff together week one. And after this game, obviously went on a tear, won the Heisman, and is going to be drafted really highly um, in the first round of the NFL draft. That's going to be it for the video. I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. Peace.